Well, Merry Christmas, y'all. Let's work on some jingle bells. It's my little adaptation of it. Hope you enjoy it. Key of G, open strings. It's the old five string. Okay, let's start off with our little pickup. Now that first note, you notice a little flag on it. That means it's an eighth note. And notice also I'm playing it with my index finger. That's because it's a quick note and I need my thumb in there on that last beat of the previous imaginary measure. So I'm counting one, two, three, and four is that little pickup. So I'm going one, two, three, and four. Then open four, open two, two quarter notes. So I'm counting one, two, three, and four. That little pull-off lick we've seen a bunch of times. I think we originally saw it in Fireball Mail. I'm doing a three to two pull-off on the third string, then hitting the second string, and then the third string again, and the fourth string. So my right hand is three, two, three, one with the pull-off. So again, from the pickup, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. I'm landing on the fourth string here. And the reason I put the pull off in the melody dashing through the, and I want to make it sound a little more banjo like, so I go dashing through the snow. Also adds just a maybe a touch of a blue note in there to make it a little more interesting. Okay, that's the reason I, I do this because being from South Arkansas, you know, I'm just steeped in the blues. <laughs> So, so uh, that measure again, four, five, three, one, three, four, one. And uh, landing back here on the fourth string, second fret. So I go open four, five, three, one, three, four, one. And again, a quarter note at the beginning. One, two, and three, and four, and. So, so far I've got my pickup. One, two, three, and four. I do basically the same thing again, except I stick in an extra note just to make it a little more, a little more variety. Instead of going, I go four, two, one, then the same pull off. Okay, four, two, one, three, two, three. Now my next lick is a C chord, and it's a three finger C chord this time. Similar to what I did in uh, Little Darling Pal of Mine. Now, if you're if you're not real good at putting those fingers down and getting them all three down there uh, on on time, you know, just practice. Uh, this is a second finger fourth string on the second fret. Uh, my index finger is going back to the first fret on the second string. My ring finger, my third finger, is going over to the first string, second fret. That's your three finger C chord there. And so you could do three fingers on, three fingers off, back on, back off, like so, just to practice your fingering on that chord. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to hammer on. I'm going to get all three of those fingers on pretty much at the same time. That's a four diverse roll starting on the fourth string. Four, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. On my C chord. Okay? So you may need to work on that just to separately. Like open. Three fingers on. forth back and forth until your fingers get trained to lay down you know all pretty much all together like that okay so next measure is the same C chord hammering on again doing basically the first half of what I just did the forward part four two one five now I got um, four, the fields we 
So it's an open second string, second fret on the third string, and both of those are quarter notes. So I'm counting one and two and three, four. Okay? So, so far again, I've got from the top one, two, three, and four. Dash, to a D chord, and this is, just, this is just two fingers of a D chord. I've done this before, too. Four, three, one, five, one, three, four. I'm putting my ring finger, third finger again, out here on the fourth string, fourth fret. My index finger is going to the third string, second fret. So you got that space there. You may want to work on that. Just getting, getting stretched out to do that. And again, another variation of four diverse roll. Four, three, one, five, one, three, four. Okay. Next lick is uh, this little forward roll sequence, starting with a hammer on, two, one. That's uh, going from two to three on the second string. And my next roll is going to be five, two, one, five, two, one. I'm going to move back to the first fret on the second string. So we've got hammering on to the second string, moving back. And then my next forward roll is going across the third string on the second fret. So two, one, five, two, one, five, three, one. Laughing all the... Okay. So hammering on the second string, two, one, moving back, five, two, one. And when you get back here, you gotta make sure that you're fretting on the second string only, that you're not, not killing that first string. So you gotta adjust your finger there to keep that first string open. And the next one, five, two, three, one, on the second fret. So two, one, five, two, one. Okay, now guess what my next lick is? It's my Cripple Creek slide. Three, two, five, one. Again, here I'm going to the fourth string. Way. So I just did laughing all the way. And that note just kind of holds out, so I'm going to fill in the rest of that measure with my pull off lick again. Like so. Okay. That's the first half of the verse. Second half starts off the same as the first half. Four, two, pull off. Four, five, three, one, three, four. Same thing. Two, one, pull off. Sorry. C chord. C chord still. Open two to the third string, fretted on the second fret. Now, here's my little ending sequence for the verse. Uh, I'm going to do my same hammer on on the second string that I did before. Two, one, going from two to three. Second fret to third fret. And my strings are two, one, five, two, one. Now, my next four roll, I'm going to um, move my index finger over to the first string. Leave this finger in place. So I'm going two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, like so. And this all works out in, in context when you put both of these measures together. Laugh and sing a sleigh. And notice I'm, I'm singing the note after I play it on the banjo. So that's part of the adaptation thing that I'm doing here. It's, it's not going to completely match the melody the whole time through. So I'm kind of balancing out my favorite banjo licks with, you know, playing the melody. So that's my explanation anyway. Two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. Then take your finger back off. Five, two, one. And I'm going to pull off the second string. This is a slow pull off. Each note is an eighth note. Three and four and. It's not a 
not a quick pull off like the three two is a is a just a single eighth note. This one takes up two eighth notes. Three and four and and then uh, open three rest. That's a quarter note rest and open one and a quarter note rest. Uh, no fun is right. I'm doing so open slay hey. And I'm going into my course. Okay, so let's work on get start back at the hammer on with this ending sequence again. Two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. Pull off, rest, rest. Okay, if I'm counting beats, I'm going one and two. Okay, so we'll we'll probably want to uh, work that part separately. You know, a couple of, of unusual things here, like the pull off, the slow pull off. So you could work on that three and four, and where each one is an eighth note, and then uh, putting the index finger on, then taking it off. Okay, so let's take take this from the top one time through all the way uh, on the verse. A one, two, three, and four. chorus now. This is the same slide that we had with our Cripple Creek slide, except it's a different roll. It's three, two, one, five, two, pitch. I'm saying jingle bells. And I'm not doing the whole Batman smells now thing here, so y'all just, just control yourselves, okay? Jingle bells. And then do that again. Jingle bells. And then the same four row, three, two, one. Three quarter notes to end that. One and two, three, four are the beats. Three, two, one, three, three are the strings. Slide, open three, fret it on the second fret. And I'm just going to do a four diverse roll, regular four diverse roll, uh, leaving out the last eighth note. Making uh, a quarter note there at the end. That gives me time to come over here to my C chord. So I'm just doing the same slide, two to four on the third string. Three, two, one, five, one, two, three. Now I'm going to do this little C sequence here. This is just a Cripple Creek C with the two fingers, uh, index and middle. And sometimes I'll accidentally hammer on that first note. Yeah, well, it's not really accidental. It, it'll work either way. Or just two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. You can start with your thumb or your index, either one. Okay, and all I'm doing is two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. That's that whole measure with my C chord on. Next measure is open five two one five two pinch all open strings. So five two one five two pinch and those are quarter notes at the end one and two and three four. Now here's
here comes my little A chord lick. It just lasts for uh, one measure. And I'm going to start with the uh, second string. And my, my melody, one horse open sleigh, hey. So all I'm doing is adding the rest of my A chord in there. Two, three, two, one, five, two. So it's an open second string here. And then I'm going to put my finger down on three strings on the second fret. It's my index finger I'm using. Uh, that's probably easier than trying to go like that or especially that. You could go like that. We don't want to do that. Uh, so open two. And now I'm going to just fret three strings here on the second fret. Three, two, one. And then let go. That's that whole measure. One, two, and three, and four is the beats. Second string. Three, two, one, five, two. So my, my A chord is only on there briefly. And then I'm going to hit the um, second fret on the third string and another rest and one and a rest. So it's one horse open sleigh. Hey. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, just repeat what I did in the beginning of the course. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Sequence again, Cripple Creek C chord, two, one, five, two, one, open, I'm sorry, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, not open, five, two, one, five, two, pitch, put those together, it makes more sense. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a... Okay, now, this uh, ending is the same ending that I did at um, from the first half of the uh, verse. Uh, hammering on um, the second string again. Two, one, and then moving back, and then the third string on the second fret. Hammer, first fret, second fret. To the uh, to the top, I'm not going to do the that pickup. I'm going to do this pick pickup. Four, two. Okay. So chorus from the top again. One, two, ready, slide. Again. Slide one more time.
Okay, so you'll notice on the uh, bottom of page two, the course, where it says chimes, and it replaces measures one through four and or eight through 11 above in the chorus. So instead of going uh, jingle bells, we're doing jingle bells, and we do that twice. And then we do second string, first string, third string, back to the seventh fret on the fourth string, and back to the second string. Now these are all on the uh, 12th fret, and uh, if you're not familiar with chimes, you just barely touch the string right above the actual 12th fret. This is not like fretting the note where you're between the frets. This is over the actual 12th fret, the actual bar, metal bar that is the fret. You gotta be right over that metal bar. And uh, then you just touch the string just enough to make the note. You know, you don't want to be too too rough on it. You just barely touch the string. Okay? And then you let go of it to let it ring. So if I'm doing it fast, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, Okay, you got to be pretty well coordinated to get that to where it'll work. Okay, so my chimes are 12th fret, second string. I'm hitting it three times. The third time I hit it, I, I let it ring for uh, two beats. So I'm going one, two, three, four are my beats. And 12, 12, 12, and then just do it again. And then second string, first string, third string, fourth string on the seventh fret now. That's my little extra note in there. And then back to the twelfth um, fret, second string. So the first two measures are real easy. Just jingle bells, jingle bells. The next measure is not so easy. Second string, first string, third string, move back to the fourth string and then back to the 12th fret. So you might just want to practice getting from the 12th fret to the 7th fret. 4th string, 7th fret. And again, I'm right over the actual fret when I, whenever I touch the string. Takes some practice, okay? So the reason I'm zoomed out like this is because part of part of what I'm doing is down here on the 12th fret. Seventh fret, 12th fret, two, three, four. Now I'm going to pick up in measure five on my C chord. So I'm back down the neck here. up on my chimes, 12th fret. Jingle bells, jingle all the way, two, three, four, C chord. slowly so that you can work on the chimes. I'm going to go back to the verse to put it all in context. One, two, three, and four.
Okay? Merry Christmas and let's have fun, okay? <laughs>